this is the industrial automation system and uh, uh, in the description I have provided the download link uh, and you can download that uh, file uh, which is the zip file and uh, these include these three files one is a uh, 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 code of Arduino code of this uh, project uh, the another one is the Protis uh, file which is the circuit uh, simulation circuit uh, I'm talking about this this is the circuit and the third one is the uh, hex file uh, Arduino hex file uh, uh, for the project so all these three uh, are necessary for this you have to uh, you must have the Arduino ID software uh, in order to open this and for this one you must have the Protest simulation software this is the Protest 7 file so must you have Protest 7 in order to open this uh, this is the uh, Protest 7 uh, which I have uh, uh, open this file and have made this and this is one is the hex file of the uh, code so uh, let's uh, explain all so I should to explain all the things this is the uh, you can see this uh, block is of uh, uh, 12 uh, volt and 5 volt power DC power supply uh, what I have do I have used the 220 volt power supply AC power supply then I use the step down transformer uh, and you can see its properties uh, here you can see the coupling factor is 0 0.065 it will convert the 220 volt to 12 volt again I have used the bridge in order to uh, rectify the AC uh, signal uh, it will convert the AC signal to uh, rectified DC uh, signal uh, again I have used the capacitor which will uh, help in order to uh, smooth uh, the waveform of the uh, uh, AC signal that have been uh, passed from the diode bridge and uh, so it will uh, make it uh, more a uh, pure DC instead of a rippled uh, signal again I have used the uh, here you can find uh, the 12 volt DC power supply pure 12 volt DC power supply again I use the 7805 voltage regulator which will convert the 12 volt power supply to 5 volt again I have used the 100 microfarad capacitor uh, it is also for the smoothness and uh, here you will find the 5 volt map, or 5 volt DC power supply so I have used the voltmeter in order to check whether it's exactly 5 volt or not so this is the uh, power supply again here the, this is the main Arduino board uh, this is the LCD display here you can see the L298 a motor driver uh, this is the motor this is the water pump and this is the servo motor here you can see the uh, uh, these are the uh, variable resistor but I, have, uh, I will use it as a fire sensor and this is also a variable resistor potentiometer I also called it a potentiometer and we will use it as a gas sensor we will uh, uh, change its value uh, and we will uh, then uh, perform the action which will be needed here this is the voltage regulator uh, for the purpose of the uh, speed control of the motors uh, and also in order to control the angle of the servo motor these three buttons uh, which are needed for the controlling of the uh, these three motors uh, this button is for the button M means the button for motor button S means the button for servo motors while button P means the button for a pump so whenever I will press this button uh, the motor will work uh, according to uh, this uh, whenever uh, the S button will be pressed so the servo motor will start working and whenever the button P pump button will be pressed so the pump will start working uh, with the help of this regulator uh, I will change the servo motor angle so what you will have to do first of all uh, you should to right click on it and go to the edit properties and uh, then upload this hex file in the Arduino uh, these three files are uh, uh, the links is in the description you can download the uh, zip file I'll, uh, these all three are uh, in the zip file just uh, so unzip that file and uh, you will find these all three file these all three uh, files so open it uh, uh, click on edit properties and then uh, browse from here and uh, you can see these the, the hex file at the end you can see dot hex also you can see the here the type of the uh, file is a uh, hx hex file so what you will have to do you click on it open it and uh, then click on ok now just uh, click on play 
and it will start working you can see that uh, uh, LCD display what it's showing uh, industrial automation then it's uh, showing please select the button and then you can see that uh, it's saying that no fire detected no gas detected so uh, please select the button means that select any of the any one of these buttons so let's click I'm clicking the button of the motor so here you will see that uh, what it's saying also you can see the action that will be performed by the motors whenever when I press this you can see the motor start wor uh, working also here you can see in the display that uh, motor on again if I uh, stop this one and press this but you can see again it's saying play select button if I press this one so here you can see that servo is on what you will have to do servo uh, current angle is 180 degree and uh, when I will uh, change its uh, you can see according to this uh, regulator the servo angle is also changing you can see it's come to zero and if I uh, move it further you can see it will go from zero to 180 degree and 180 degree let's say um, I'm uh, coming back to zero degrees and degree you can see that uh, it will decrease according to the regulator just uh, st just to place the mouse here and then click the right click and uh, keep stay that so again I'm going back to the 180 degree so you can see that it's uh, you can stop anywhere uh, the servo motor at any position at any angle here you can see that uh, it goes again from 0 to 180 uh, please keep in mind that uh, when uh, let's uh, stop this button it again it will ca be came back to 0 degree please keep in mind that uh, whenever you will use these two buttons the motor and pump please uh, stay the regulator at maximum I mean 100 percent otherwise it may not work so again I, if I press the pump button so here you can see that the pump is on and uh, here you can see the pump is started working if I bring it down so it may stop works again you will have to uh, stay it at maximum let's stop it check the fire sensor and uh, I have given some threshold that it if uh, from the 68 percent it will it will uh, goes from above the 68 percent it will show that fire detected so let's uh, increase its value now its value is 65 67 and uh, 68 now if uh, I go beyond this so you will see here that fire detected let's uh, uh, see that the display you can see that uh, it's seeing fire detected and if I go uh, beyond further so it will also say that fire detected if I again came back to uh, lower it will say no fire detected again if I check the gas sensor so increase its value and at some point you can see that it's saying that gas detected again if I have, if I came back you can see that gas no gas detected if I uh, if I use both of these so here you can see gas detected and uh, also it will also saying that fire detected so both of these are detected uh, at the same time you can also use these all buttons as well let's uh, check the motor you can see that motor is working and stop it uh, check the servo motor you can see that it's working here uh, as well uh, and uh, if I check the motor uh, pump button so you can see it's working as well at the same time you can use all of these functions uh, so let's come came back uh, to these values and bring back these values you can see that so let's uh, also explain the code a little bit so here you can see the code of this uh, this is the LCD uh, library code. This is the LCD pins. Uh, this is for LCD. So this is for servo motor, and these are the pins names uh, which are connected. Again, it's servo. Uh, all you can see the servo motor pin, also the driver motor driver pins. Uh, here you can see you can tell about the uh, what uh, pin you are using as an input or as an output. Uh, I'm using these pins as an input pull up, while these are as an output. You can see here. Uh, here you can tell the servo motor pin again here I have tell the 20 cross 4 LCD I am using the 20 cross 4 LCD so you can tell here the order of the LCD again I am uh, printing some values displaying some values on the LCD and here uh, these are the uh, pins which will uh, I have read all the pins either that is analog or that is a digital so it will save the values in these uh, variables 
so here you can see the motor speed uh, what will uh, which will be done according to the uh, regulator value uh, its well its value is 0 to uh, 1023 and it will map it 0 to 225 255 sorry and it will again print on that so it will check the buttons if a button b any it means that uh, uh, button b me sorry motor button it means that if it is low it it means that it is pressed so what we it will have to do uh, it will run the motor and also it shows on the cd if uh, pump button is low it means if this one is pressed uh, pump will be running and also it will show on the lcd if a uh, servo motor button is uh, low it means it, it is pressed so it will show on lcd as well and also will uh, uh, go to the position which will be uh, which we will tell from uh, the regulator value uh, its position will be according to the regulator value its value is 0 to uh, 1023 and it will map it uh, from 0 to 180 degree and uh, if uh, none of these situations it will stop all the motors uh, uh, pumps uh, servos and also will show that please select the button again for the sensors uh, it will check where fire value is uh, greater than 700 so it will show that fire detected if uh, uh, otherwise it will say that no fire is detected if gas value uh, is increased from uh, or go beyond the 700 it will show that gas is detected otherwise it will show no gas uh, is detected so hope you will uh, get this uh, and uh, this this was a, a industrial automation project uh, hope you will get and you will understand uh, if you like the video uh, so please uh, like my uh, you videos and also subscribe my channel uh,